time of me making this video, the, the project isn't complete, but it is like 6,000% funded. So I'm excited, I'm impatient, and I wanna move forward with it. So I found a dragon with a dragon horde of gold coins that let me move forward uh, on credit. I think I wanna go ahead and buy these, buy these pens right now so we can get started. I know with what we've got so far, we can afford more than one box of pens, but for now we're just gonna get one box and we'll reevaluate from there. We've added more tests uh, to, the, to the Kickstarter page, um, but let's just start simple. Let's get that box and we'll move forward from there, okay? Hopefully this is legal tender in there. Here they are. I think we're gonna do it, but we gotta be careful because I just grabbed a box of the blue ones. Definitely want the black ones. Blue's fine, but I just like I just like a crisp black line. I think these are the ones, boys. Everybody. It's a pretty nice day out here, so I headed over to the local tennis park. I figured I'll just do the unboxing out here. Let's just look at every single one of these pens real quick. I'll lay them all out right here real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six. So I'm excited to say we have 36 amazing pens. <sighs> I never thought this day would come. I'm excited. Just think of all the possibilities lying here on this table before us. So one of these pens uh, is gonna get sent off to the Thunder Funder, the guy who, um, who gave the $6 to the Kickstarter to make all this possible. And, uh, and then we're gonna draw a picture of one of these pens. Uh, this pen, actually, the one I numbered off as one. This will be our primary research pen if I can keep track of it. So maybe we should go draw a picture with this one now uh, to make it happen, to, to get that test out of the way. We should maybe also just get the smell test out of the way. We'll continue conducting smell tests on into the future, I think. It couldn't hurt, right? You need good tests have a lot of data points. All right, all right, let's go draw. And so we began the drawing portion of the art research. I, I grabbed a piece of plain printer paper, just your generic stuff that you can buy at uh, the store, and I started drawing. I noticed uh, right off the bat that on the box it says, writes first time, every time. And there's even like a little, t is that a TM or? Nope, that's a R in a circle. Does that mean registered trademark? that it writes first time every time. Uh, for the record, when I first tried writing on the paper, it did write the first time, but before that, I tried writing on my fingertip and it did not write on my fingertip. And the, my fingertip is the first thing I tried writing on and it did not work, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that they meant if you try writing on paper, it'll, it'll write the first time every time. And it worked. It, right, right off the bat, it worked. No scribbling, scrabbling, grabbing, you know, scrap pieces of paper to scribble away on. You know, that pen supposed, supposedly had, you have, does anyone know people that say supposedly? The pen supposedly had never been written with before. Maybe, I should have had, I'll look in the future at the tips of the other pens and see if there's like ink, ink on them. Maybe they, do you think any of them get scribbled with during QA? I doubt it. Supposedly that pen had never been written with before and it wrote, it wrote right off the bat. So that's good, that's a good sign. 
And uh, so here we drew a picture with it. This is the, uh, I don't remember what we're calling this test, the art test. We draw a picture with it. Going to send this picture off to the Thunder Funder. Um, and uh, as soon as the project is, is complete. And uh, I don't know, it all went well. The pen draws lines on paper and you can, uh, the way lines work is you can kind of arrange the lines in all sorts of uh, different manner according to your whim and wish and make the the paper uh, the picture on the paper represent different sorts of things it can look like nothing or almost anything uh, as i continued drawing here the first portion of this drawing i did while recording it uh, and broadcasting it live on twitch um, it quickly became evident that uh, it looked like i was drawing the front half of some sort of either mangled or mystical horse um, so at first i kind of embraced that I, after it looked like I had drawn a head and one leg, I drew another front leg, but then it got a little bit stressful. Uh, I started realizing that I was trying to draw a horse and I didn't, I'm not good at drawing horses because uh, if you try to draw a horse, then you think I've got to do it a certain way because horses look a certain way. So then I threw it all, uh, you know, all those, that plan to the wind and just started doodling like I always do. And then towards the end of the drawing, I came back around to that. Um, and gave it a couple more legs and some tails and wings. Because uh, some horses have wings, according to myth and legend. And the the head, uh, I don't know, it's a little all out of proportion. Um, I'm not a horse expert. But one thing that we should pay attention to in future, um, we will do more of these art experiments with these pens. And one thing we should pay attention to is, um, does everything... Uh, that is drawn with these pens uh, resemble um, crazy looking horses or hippos or weird s slugs with legs and wings. So maybe not. I, I doubt it personally, but really this sort of thing all you, you can only figure out by r rigorous experimentation, of course. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to getting into a few more, a bunch more of these experiments. They're not all involving drawing pictures. Um, a lot of them are a little bit more nefarious and abstract and nebulous, uh, and m maybe we'll find out some things we never even thought we could find out, which is uh, one of the most beautiful things about art, uh, science, and experimentation all coming together in some sort of crazy, you know, like all hands in team. What's it called when like everyone on a team puts their hands into the middle of a circle and goes one, two, three, team, and then the hands all go up? I'm seeing, I'm seeing like art, science, a few wild cards of, you know, like experimentation and uh, uh, my metaphor is falling apart. All right. Uh, but this pen confirmed can draw pictures. Uh, so tick that down in one column in the column that says can draw pictures, put a tick. And then in the column that says cannot draw pictures, do not put a tick. Um, I'll make a note to make a note about it. All right, so sounds good. All right, see y'all on the flip side. Good, goodbye. Ooh, also, I forgot to say, it's one thing as far as smell goes. I know I, you guys think I might be going into the smell thing too much, but I'm not. Uh, is the actual smell of the ink on the page, not just the smell of the pen, which uh, when I smelled it in the park there, it didn't smell like a whole lot. I might have been um, being overwhelmed. I might have been overwhelmed by the, you know, just the smell of the nice summer day. Uh, I, I wasn't exactly doing that experiment in a sterile environment, but I do want to get into the smell of the actual ink on the page because in the past I've been almost uh, overwhelmed and driven to nausea by the smell of ballpoint pen ink on pieces of paper. Sometimes it hits you like a brick wall. Uh, so I'm gonna get into that later in a in a future experiment. All right. All right, good, goodbye for real. All right, take it easy.